and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a rundown of the Beauty Bloggers Awards that I went to on Sunday and the Olympia Beauty trade show that was attached to it, so it was an all-in-one kind of job. I got some absolutely epic freebies from this event, um, I should say goodie bags or something. Nicks were there and basically if you took a selfie and posted it on Instagram, you got a whole heap of goodies. And there were other brands there um, regarding skincare and stuff, so I have a few bits from those. Uh, from those people, those brands. And as I said, the shopping that went on at Olympia Beauty, that was a bit of a mistake. Can you hear the rain? I apologize if you can hear the rain, but not much I can do about it. Uh, also, just a really quick reminder that today is Friday, so tonight my channel will be changing from Onya Beauty to Honestly Onya. So just a quick reminder. Now, on with the show itself. So I arrived and there was a beautiful red carpet, which I forgot to record because I was too busy going, oh, nice red carpet. And uh, when I got there, I got there a bit early, so I went for a mooch about the Olympia Beauty trade show. It was brilliant. I'm definitely going that, to that again next year. It was like IMAX, but there were more brands that are obviously aimed at salons and beauticians and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there was good discounts on some of the products and generally it wasn't as rammed as IMAX can get. So I'm very tempted to go again next year just for the shopping alone. So the shops themselves were actually quite interesting. I was just looking at the list. Um, I seen Kate from, or Kat, keep calling her Kate. Kat from Pale, Pale Gear Story. Oh, it's gone out of my head. Anyway, I follow her on Twitter and it was quite nice to see her in person. There was also How to Find Your Niche in Blogging. That was Julie Cardozo Marsh. Um, which was quite interesting. It was an interesting topic to raise. Um, there was that and then I'm kind of going the other way with my blog, but it was interesting to hear nonetheless. Um, we also, I seen the Style Secrets for Bloggers that was run by Best Secret, which were an interesting brand. Um, they have an online shop you have to get invited to and um, there are various actual storefronts, but you have to be a member to get in and they don't look like shops and all this kind of crazy stuff. The one I seen at the end there was Nick's Insider Guide to Vlogging and that was supposed to be with Gina Box and Irene Moore. Um, Irene Moore, she was definitely there. I don't think Gina maybe wasn't there. Well, not the girl in the picture anyway. There was another girl there and she was really nice. I, she gave me tips on my eyebrows and how to make them match my hair. But the next cosmetics, that was quite interesting because they're opening up a blogger space slash vlogger space in their offices in London. So that could be quite interesting. They're looking to work more with bloggers vlogger people so yeah it's gonna be interesting I'm gonna find out more about that but you should follow NYX Cosmetics UK I believe online uh, on Twitter so you can find out more about that in general now on to the goodie bag fabulous goodie bag I don't have everything in here I've split it between two bags so first of all all the PR stuff you don't need to see that now uh, first thing out is the Skin Acumen Starter Pack. So this is a vitamins and photonutrients food supplement and it's to help with problem skin basically. So that's about a month's worth of tablets and I will try them out. I've had mixed results before taking these sort of tablets so so yeah I'm going to be interested to see how these turn out. From China Glaze I got this little trio. It's just a sample set. I think it's a uh, from what I've read, it's like a top coat, base coat, and prep. And it's got the three in there. So, from all that jazz, it's I have it's Sharon's Bella Rose Sachet, which looks like just a rose gold kind of top coat. Let's see there. See all the sparkles. So, yeah. Uh, another nail polish, this one was from Morgan Taylor, and this is in a shade. Text ask me later. And that's it there. I'm not going to be doing cutaways for all this because there's quite a bit of stuff and we'll be here till Christmas. Now, two samples. These are both from Exuvians. One is a purifying clay mask and one is a triple microderm abrasion face polish. This is there. Two samples. I'm actually looking forward to trying those. I could do with some of that. My skin's a bad neck, but I'm trying with something else. Anyway. Um, I also got some fabulous lashes. These are the Salon System Natural Lash, Natural Lash, um, Intense, and these are in blue black. And these things there. Looking forward to trying those out. Oh, 
also got something else I'm kind of excited about. It's the Dr. Paul Paul Original Balm. Flip skin, hair, beauty, whatever. Excuse me. Looking forward to trying this out. And that's it for the freebies, but do you want to see my picture? If you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen this. Not bad pictures, right? I like the lighting in that booth. I should have it at home. The rest were all freebies from NYX still. This was for taking that picture as well as the few bits that I got at the start. We have the NYX Photogenic Finishing Powder. Just that. A uh, matte brown liner. And it looks like a twist up one. It looks quite cool. I have a micro, it's a uh, NYX micro brow pencil. And this looks right up my street because I'm out of brow products. This is in the shade Ash Brown. So that's it. And you can sort of see what it looks like there. I think I bought one of these, or I'm not sure if I bought the glittery one, but one of these type of liners I bought and they gave me. So this dark color is in Extreme Coffee and then the silver is in Extreme Silver. That's inventive. So they're sort of both liquid metallic liners. Meh, looking forward to trying that. I have a gel pot. This is in, I'm oh sorry, a liner and smudger. This is in the shade Teal. Another liner, I'm actually probably going to give this one away as I already own it. It's, oh no I don't, it's a lie. Ooh, it's actually a lip liner, seemingly, and this is in hot cocoa. This is rather impressive brown. Now lip products, we have more. So I have a chunky dunk, and it's a hydrating lippy, and this is in the shade pomegranate margarita. So it's that sort of plummy shade. I have a NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait, which is just this lovely pinky again tone one. And I have, oh, this is a mascara. It's a NYX Color Mascara in Perf or Pink Perfect. That's interesting. There's that. Interested to try that. And I have a NYX Butter Lipstick in, where's the shade? Little Susie, which is this shade. I mean, seriously, check out how nice and pinky red that is. Hmm. And the last two things that I got for free was this NYX um, eyeshadow in Strike a Pose, which is a lovely, lovely taupey brown sort of shade. Excited. And I got a blush in Ethereal. There you go. So those were all of the freebies that I got. Now, also from NYX, I got the matte finish, the matte finish setting spray. I got two of these coloured, the NYX macaroon lippies, and one is in blue velvet, and the other one is pistachio. So this is blue velvet and this is pistachio. I'm going to use these on my brows. Maybe on my lips, but probably more likely on my brows. And the last two things from NYX, I got um, a dramatic sparkle effect. Uh, it's in Crystal Gun Metal, which is a liner. It's a fabulous silvery shiny liner. And I got a pigment in Penny Pearl. Really excited to see the little pigments some really cool ones. So this is like a proper coppery penny sort of shade. Cannot wait to be playing with that. I got some nail decals. Let me just show you quickly. These are all from All That Jazz. So we have some spider web in gold and in black and some rose looking things in black and also some just cool patterns in a weird neon colour. I need to just grow nails for that. My nails are going to come because I popped to OPI as well and they had the um, Nail Envy in original strength with a little nail file and that was going for £10. So I was like yep, yes please, I'll have one of those, thank you. Love you, thanks. 
So I got that. And I also got myself another nail polish because it was five pounds. And look at it. It's in Murmur on the Wall. I don't know if it's even going to show up as nice as it is. Like, look. It's, you can sort of see the oil spill effect there. It's got a bit of dual chrome going on. Greeny, olivey tones coming through with the purple. Very cool. Very excited about that. And lastly, I got some brushes from Crime Brush because we know I love Crime Brush. So I got some old favourites and I just repurchased them. I got the one of my blending brushes. So I now have three of these ones. Woohoo! I need more, frankly, because I need always need the blending brushes. And I also got myself a white one. So I have already got this one and this one, and I just added to them because I really like these ones. They do a great job. And I like having white ones for doing light colours so I know and then dark ones for doing dark colours. I also got this tiny brush, it's more of a pencil brush. So this tiny brush, it's much more as you can see, sort of pencil brush style. Just needed one so I got one. And I got another smudgery brush. I like these ones, they're very good, I like them a lot. So, all in all, that is everything. Well done us, we got through it. Well done. Apologies for the long video, but had to share our stuff and also wanted to show you stuff that I bought and freebies that I got. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you're excited about the name change, because I am too, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.